Well, if you're anything like me, I'm always looking to save money, and one Memphian is doing just that in a unique way. Visual storyteller Sheila Whaley heads outdoors to tell us how. I've been doing this about 10 years. It takes coming back multiple times and kind of getting a feel for it. They're shaped like little turkey tails, hence the name. My name is Ben Pruitt, and I forage for mushrooms. A mushroom is a fungus. Without them, we probably wouldn't have life. They're critical to our existence. Mushrooms have all kinds of purposes, too. Just leaving it there. Not going to do anything with it. It's kind of pretty. It's where it belongs. So mushrooms are useful as food. They're useful medicinally. People out there swear they've cured cancer. Some mushrooms have been used as, in ceremonies since the dawn of man as uh, psychedelics. When uh, there is a big burst of wild mushrooms, and you possibly could find a lot and have a mild saving at the grocery store, but you know, more, more so it's a, a culinary appreciation of a wild mushroom that you've harvested in your dinner. So there's a lot of identifying characteristics there. I would not encourage people to go out and use their phone to find a mushroom and eat it. There are some mushrooms out here that will absolutely kill you. I don't know, I've not seen this mushroom before that I'm aware of. You'll have less than a week of life left if you eat the wrong mushroom. You don't take mushroom identification casually. If you make certain you know what you're looking at. That's a mataki, Latin name Griffola frondosa. The worst day of foraging for mushrooms, you, you find absolutely no mushrooms, but you spent your afternoon, your evening, your morning, whatever, out here wandering around in the forest. It's stress-free, it's exercise, it's beautiful, it's a good way to spend a day. 